got to put my ear cuffs on. Hey, so, so many of you have asked about my jewelry. <laughs> so I figured I would just dedicate an entire video to it. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna share with you key pieces and the ones and like brands, like basically where I got them. So let's start off with what I'm wearing. Uh, so this necklace and these earrings, this and this are from a brand called Vitaly, Vitaly, not entirely sure how to pronounce it, but they make like specifically bomb ass, edgy ass, unisex uh, jewelry. I can't remember what this is called. I'm gonna link everything down below for you guys. Um, but these are two different earrings. Let me zoom in. So these are two different earrings. You can see this guy has, I don't know if it's focusing on that, but you can see it's kind of like split, you know? It's kind of heavy. And then this one is like a little diamond shaped drop, I guess. So they're basically like, I mean, they're the same brand and they're the same length. They're just um, slightly different. So I bought individuals. These, I often get questions about this. They're the same. Uh, these are just ear cuffs that I got on Etsy. I can't remember what I was searching. I think I was just searching like encrusted ear cuffs or cubic zir zirconia ear cuffs or something. All these three, are, no, I'm sorry. This and then the Daith were from the Pierce shop. That's all I got for you. This is from a brand called, what the fuck is it called? Maison Miri or something like that. Once again, I'll link them down below. They have really good cartilage piercings. This one is also from that brand. It's just a little uh, diamond D type stud. Uh, oh, this is also a, an ear cuff from Etsy. Once again, I think I was just searching what I said and I came across it. I don't remember what shop. Um, and then this is from the Pierce shop. I have the majority of my jewelry in this thing <laughs> that I got on Amazon uh, for like, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks or something. It's not necessarily big enough, but it's where I keep the majority of my stuff. So one of my favorite jewelry brands that a lot of you guys ask about is called PD Paola. P wait, PD Paola? Paola, I think, Italian brand. And they have the most beautiful, delicate, unique jewelry I've ever seen. Stunningly beautiful. So some of the ones that you guys have asked me about are these, which are just these like, can you stop dangling? Beautiful little dangly cut earrings. So they've got the hoop, obviously, and then it just dangles with a little um, jewel in it. Those are stunning. I love those. I also like to pair them like all kind of um mix and match with these, which are like a little, um, basically the same hoop, but the uh, dangle is like a bamboo inspired, you know? I think they're called bamboo something. Really beautiful, like very delicate and unique. And then I also, one of their signature, or some of their signature pieces have these tiny little bees on them. So this is just a stud, but it has a, a little bee. Let me take off the backing so you can see. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Isn't that so cute? Just a little bee. So those are just studs. Um, and I have a lot of these in gold and silver. So for instance, um, one of the silver ones is the little dangly. It's silver, but it's dangly and it's got the bee on the end instead of um, just like the plain little gem. That brand also makes rings and I have, um, am I wearing one? No. Uh, I have two of, I have a gold and a silver of those little bees. Just cause like, they're so cute. I love them so much. This was like the first thing that I saw. I think I was targeted probably on an Instagram ad or Pinterest ad or something. And they were just like so pretty. And I just love them so much. They're really like delicate. Oh, and I also have um, a necklace with the bee which is nice. And it's got, um, it's got like a few different rungs so you can change the length, but it's got like this bar on the end, which is really pretty. Cause I hate, I actually hate when you change the length of a, of a necklace and then you just have that like strand of like chain dangling. So they kind of like made it more of a, a look to have this little like dangly bar, you know? 
Some of these I just don't even remember where I got them. Um, another pair that is very popular is by a brand called Shashi, I believe, Shashi. And they are these little encrusted, uh, like huggy hoops with that, like these pointy daggers on the end. These are gold. These are super pretty. I got these on sale at, I believe, shopbop.com. But same kind of idea as the uh, PD Paula, just like very tiny detail. Um, and they actually mit mix and match with those really nicely. Um, another brand that is actually an Amazon brand that I discovered because of Jaclyn Hill is uh, called Pavoy or something like that. Super affordable. Um, I have a ton of their rings. These rings are from them. They have lots of like just stackable rings, all different like styles. Um, I think these are by them. I think this one is by them. This ring is from, I think, PD Paola. I'm pretty sure. It's like a twisty encrusted gold ring. But yeah, I just have like, I just got a, ooh, I just got a bunch of different sizes of all the different styles in gold and silver from, how am I supposed to show this to you? From uh, Pavoy and they're super affordable. Like they're very affordable and they have like sterling silver um, and then like gold plated sterling silver. Uh, but I haven't had any problem with tarnishing. Granted, I haven't had them that long and I don't like wash my hands when I'm wearing them or anything. I try to take care of this stuff like that, you know? Um, but yeah, I don't know. They seem like they're pretty good quality so far. Um, I did have one of them lose the jewel. This little pinky ring, which is really upsetting because I like the style of it. It's like a twist, it's twisty. Oh. But on, is it this end? Yeah, you can see right there, the jewel fell out, which is really depressing. And I had just gotten it too. So, you know, those have this style, I believe I got from them. Pretty sure this is from them, which is really cool. I think I got this as like a middle finger ring or thumb ring or something. Yeah, I have super fat fingers, so that's exciting. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? I recently picked these up actually to create a look. I don't even remember what brand these are from, but I think on Amazon, I just searched sterling silver drop earrings, but these are really pretty. Aren't those like pretty baller? They look expensive. They weren't. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have to look up what this brand is called cause I can't remember, but I got these because the guy who cuts my hair was wearing one. And I was like, dude, you have to tell me where you got that earring. Uh, and they're these encrusted like safety pins. They're so cool. And they're um, made by a, like a privately owned brand. I think it's like local to LA or maybe it started in New York. I can't remember. I know it's black owned. I wish I could remember what the fuck it was called. I followed them on Instagram. So I'll have to find it and link it down below. I have seen the style a few other places. They look so, they were literally like $15, I think. Cause I remember when he was wearing it, I was like, oh my God, you have to tell me how much that is. But like, I'm worried about hearing what the price is. And it, it was literally $15. Like they're, they look so sick too. I love them so much. Yeah, I was really excited about these when I got them. What else? I got some from that same brand, Pavoy. I got some tennis bracelets, you know, gold and silver. They're just uh, sparkly. They look way more exciting than they actually are. They're super duper cheap. What else do I have? I mean, I have some like nicer jewelry, but I don't really want to share it. Yeah, that's basically it. Oh yeah, somebody asked me about this necklace. I'm pretty sure this is PD Paula. I could be wrong though. Oh, is it? I can't remember. I wish it said somewhere. I'm pretty sure that it is, but it's sort of um, like half tennis, tennis necklace. And then it's got, uh, and then it has um, the chain as well. So it's like that. And then the closure is like that. So the clo what I like about it is that the closure is the front of the necklace. Like it's really pretty. So it's kind of like the, I don't know, like a nice detail. You can wear it in front or back. I received a lot of questions about those. Um, I did get these, which are like climber earrings. And I think I got them on Nordstrom for sale, but they're just little sterling silver cubic, zir cubic zirconia. I have such a hard time saying that. Little like spiky things that just kind of, you know, go like that. Up your earring, up your earring, up your ear. 
<sighs> okay, just a couple more things. Um, I do have a necklace brand. Well, number one, um, ASOS is always really good for like super affordable jewelry. This is just a men's chain from ASOS. It's like pretty large for me, like it's very long. So sometimes when I wear it, I actually, when I'm filming, will uh, like tighten the back with a safety pin or a tw twist tie, I mean. <laughs> so uh, I cheat a little bit, but um, it's a nice weight, you know? Um, and there isn't really any like tarnishing or imperfections or anything. I kind of like them when they're a little bit beat up chains. Um, but yeah, so I got this at the, um, on ASOS in the men's section, online obviously. And then another one that I really love is Child of Wild. And they've got a lot of like kind of hippy dippy stuff, but they also have some like really bomb um, chains. So this is one gold chain that I got, which I like because it's, uh, you can wear it like pretty tight. And then I also have this guy from them. I have a few necklaces from them, but then I also have this one, which I've worn quite a bit, which is just like a tiny little gemstone detail. Um, and it's got the like box, I don't know what these fucking things are called, man. I'm no jewelry expert, but like the box chain. Um, and this is really pretty. I know a lot of people have asked me about this necklace. So they have kind of like a combination. You can tell that I like a combination of thick, chunky, edgy stuff, and then like tiny, delicate jewelry as well. Um, and then just one more that I would talk about, but this is only if you're like super bougie uh, or if you're looking for like alternatives to mined diamonds, I would say. This is by a brand called Vry, I think, um, and they are sustainable diamonds. These are, they have, I have to look them up, but they have their own, like they're grown in the ground, but they have their own um, like little place where they do it. It's like low impact. I don't know how you would say. They're called sustainable diamonds and they're not lab, they're not grown in a lab. They are grown like outside, but these are like high end jewelry. So, so this is a little um, present to myself, but it's just a little like baguette. And then I don't even know what you call that. Once again, I'm not a jewelry expert. Uh, Pretty. Um, but anyway, so they blah, 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 blah. Sustainably grown in America with no carbon footprint and no mining. Then cut and polished, blah, blah, blah. So it's supposed to be like very good quality, but no bad bullshit. Zero emission, sustainably grow the purest diamond crystals in America's beautiful Pacific West. So if you're interested in diamonds or luxury jewelry, I would recommend checking them out. That's basically it. None of this shit's sponsored, guys. I've purchased all of this stuff. Uh, that's all my jewelry. Well, it's not all my jewelry, but those are the brands that I purchase from and would recommend. So I hope that that clears things up because I know I receive so many questions. Um, and if you're looking for like affordable chains and stuff, definitely check out ASOS. I like feel like that was where I started off with buying jewelry. And then Nordstrom and Macy's have really good sales. So always check the sales section. I never purchase stuff like full price. <laughs> always look for a coupon code or use your shop tagger to find like, get cash back and all that shit. Yeah, that's it. Hope this helped. Check out PD Paola, stunningly gorgeous stuff. Uh, Pavoy, everything will be linked down below. That's very affordable. Child of Wild is kind of pricey, but pretty bomb. Yeah, I need to drink some water. My throat's dying. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.